we reached out to over 50 subscribers, so thank you very much guys, it's much appreciated, let's try to keep the channel going, share it to many people as you can, so thank you very much for 50 subscribers, let's try to reach it to 100. Hello and welcome to the Meg review. So Meg stars Jason Statham as some guy. He finds out that this bottom of the ocean has uh, is filled with like this giant shark. And so what it basically is that Jason Statham finds a shark. It comes out, starts attacking a lot of people, and we have our movie. It does sound a lot like Jaws, doesn't it? And that's basically what it is. It's basically like a PG thirteen movie version of Jaws. And like. I the shark formula is getting a really old really quickly in my opinion. I'll start with the main thing about this movie, like Jason Statham is just kind of a dude. Like I said, he's just like a dude in a movie. You like, he's nothing really anything special. You could have probably put anyone in his role and they could have probably just given like a same performance. I mean Jason Statham's cool and everything, he does all he can, but all of it is just Jason Statham. All the other characters are pretty forgettable and you don't really care about them. They have like this love story between Jason Statham and his other girl. The love interest in this film is kind of like the dumbest character in the entire movie. Like, you find out that she brings her daughter to a highly sophisticated area in the middle of the ocean. What is your deal? Who does that? You are stupid to bring your child to a sophisticated area in the middle of the ocean where you are look where you are attacked by a shark. For someone that used to work as a health and safety provisor for children, I was completely baffled by the self aware from this mother. And every time someone dies with a shark, it's done in the most PG-13 way possible. Like, they always die off screen, you never really see like an arm limb or like a leg limb, or even, like, all they really do is the shark just swallows them by whole. I'm gonna go into spoilers for the third act of the movie, so if you don't want to know anything that happens in the third act of the movie, you should probably sign away right now. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. So what happens is that the shark goes into the most populated beach on the planet. So, as full shark fest, a full like shark meal for this and you know what you do is you have like a camera angle pointing upwards uh, see, showing that the angle that the shark was underneath them and nobody noticed a 500 foot shark underneath them how can you not see a 500 foot shark underneath you? In fact, how can a 500 foot shark fit in the most populated beach on the planet? How is that possible? This movie is really, really unaware of logic. I mean, this movie, I mean, I guess it's entertaining, but I would say it's entertaining in the same way as The Room or Trolls 2. It's just so bad, it's just entertaining, but there's nothing really original or great about this movie. I mean, I'm pretty sure this movie's gonna bomb. How the hell? Okay, so what did you think of Meg? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.